Hey everyone, this is the Spoon Dude back with another custom action figure video. This time I'm showing off one of my custom Mary Jane figures. After Hasbro released their Gwen Stacy figure that had an alternate MJ head, I was interested in making a new Mary Jane figure. Uh, even though I had made one before and I'm happy with it, um, I just wanted to make a new one with this new head. And I actually ended up making two Mary Jane customs. Um, I guess I just really liked that Mary Jane head. With this particular figure, I decided it would be fun to replicate my own artwork that I made some years ago uh, with Mary Jane sort of wearing some of the Spider-Man costume. And to best get that look, I decided to uh, use the Marvel Legends White Rabbit figure as that figure already had the bare legs. And additionally, it also had sort of exposed neck, so all of the flesh tone parts were already molded so I wouldn't have to bother painting it. White Rabbit did require some work. Her arms and obviously she's wearing a jacket so I had to take off the coat piece and I had to um, switch out her arms which I did with a Marvel Legends Claire figure from the Netflix Luke Cage 2-pack. I also got rid of the White Rabbit's furry boots and um, had to cut the lower legs from Claire and try to fit them onto the MJ. I think I cut them just a bit off. I think one leg might be a bit longer than the other, but it's not really noticeable. And then I did do some sculpt work. Um, I sculpted the top of her collar and the bottom of the shirt. I also had to fill in the gap uh, where I replaced the lower legs. After all that, I sanded all of the joints of the parts that I'd have to paint. So that's like the ankles, uh, the elbows, the shoulders, and the torso. Um, then I got out my acrylic paints. I used just a basic red and then for a blue I mixed a uh, silver and a light blue. I was intending to match the look of the Mafex Spider-Man, which is uh, my favorite Spider-Man. So I thought I'd want this Mary Jane figure to match that one. I had to decide between wanting to match the the Mafex or the Marvel Legends retro one. Uh, but seeing the Mafex had the metallic blue that I think is just a nicer color. So I went with that. It, I thought it'd make for more interesting than just the flat blue of the retro Spider-Man. For the web lines, I used Micron pens, uh, which have nice fine tips and um, surprisingly don't immediately rub off when you uh, sort of draw them on the plastic. And then after letting them sit for a bit, I then spray a clear coat on top just to make sure that um, the lines wouldn't rub off. For their underwear, I just painted that uh, sort of a basic pink, uh, which I got from mixing a red and a white. Uh, this figure isn't perfect. Since I've been posing it, there is a bit of paint rub. The flesh tone of the White Rabbit doesn't exactly match the Mary Jane head. However, in person, and I've said this before, but in person, it's not crazy noticeable. And, uh, you know, it's not bad enough where I'm bothered by it. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with the figure. It's probably my favorite custom Mary Jane since I just like this look. It's, you know, a more interesting one where she's wearing the Spider-Man costume. Let me know what you think of the custom in the comments below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't. I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.